Uh, next up, Josh Kando, who I completely forgot about until I was doing <laughs> some draft prep. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever happened to him? Uh, is he coming out in the draft? And then I had to realize, no, he's not even close to coming out in the draft. No, not even close. And he wouldn't have been eligible anyways and got hurt. So, you know, he's a guy that's going to really help Florida State, though. You know, they need some, some leaders. They need some guys. Uh, you know, we got Marvin Wilson on the inside. They got Kano coming back healthy. Uh, their defense needs to improve quite a bit. And we both know – you know, what a hard worker Marvin Wilson is. We both know what a, what a hard worker Josh Kando is and, and how athletic and explosive these guys can be. So that's a great one-two punch there. And I think they really missed him last year. It wouldn't have mattered because their offense was so horrible. And he can't throw the ball or block. So it's not going to help in that respect. But having him off the edge, it's going to help Florida State's defense. So it's weird to see guys like Kando and, and reminding me of uh, like the guy from Notre Dame that, that's coming out of the draft, uh, the edge guy, I can't remember his name, him and his brother both went there. Um, and like Nick Coe from Auburn. Yeah, yeah. You know, Kando, in my mind, was way ahead of those guys in high school. So the talent has got to probably still be there. We just got to unlock it. You know, he was, his junior year, he was sort of a skinny outside pass rusher guy. Right, that's right. Uh, Exactly. His senior year, he started to work a little bit more inside, be better against the run, and, and, and got, but he was still skinny. You know, so he was sort of one of those guys we projected that would get 265 pounds and be great. Still hasn't reached there yet. I think the other guys, you know, especially Co, were more physically dominant, but didn't have the same array of pass rushing moves or the same athleticism as Kane does. So, you know, we'll see. I, I don't think he's a first rounder, you know, but he's still got time to to get to that level or, or, or get into that discussion. Uh, but it's, it, they're just going to be happy to have him back on the field. Did we rank him as a five-star? I can't remember now. Uh, he was a high five-star. He's like number eight in the country. Ouch. Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's still not over. 